Uh, oh, want me to start off? Go ahead. <laughs> sure. Um, great, great win for us in a tough environment against a team that's got a lot of talent. Uh, I was really proud of our guys' effort out of the gate, getting off to a great start. Um, and then, uh, like we've done a lot of times, and we mentioned this at halftime, we kind of got off page, started doing our, own, our things our own way, and they made a nice run, and then we squashed it and carried some momentum into halftime, which I thought was big uh, because they made another run in the second half, and I thought our guys didn't lose confidence knowing that we, we answered the one they had in the first half. And so uh, Brad made some great adjustments, of course. We knew he, he was going to come with zone at some point, and uh, we just got very, very passive against it. We stopped attacking. We didn't move the ball. Um, and, but then finally, a couple adjustments. Guys made some big shots down the stretch. And super proud of the way we defended and rebounded uh, and found, found a way in a tough environment to pull out a tough road win. But you hit seven of your first nine shots, I think 15 of your first 20. Why, why was this flowing so well for the offense? You know, guys were really executing in, in our sets. We got the ball into Big Hutch. He made some great moves. Um, I think that might have surprised, you know, some folks. And then all of a sudden they had to collapse a little bit and it freed up some, some jump shots. And guys, the guys just made some good individual plays. And um, we got off to a good start. And then I thought maybe, which can happen sometimes in this environment, you know, we we're going to try to, you know, boat race them. And that's... That's where we lost our focus, and, and they, you know, we knew they were going to fight back because their coach is such a fighter, um, and they did. But uh, I'm proud of our guys for, for making plays down the stretch to, to pull it out. They had got it down to one, and, and I think Green and, and Wisner hit back-to-back trades. Uh, how big were those? Obviously huge. You know, we, 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 we couldn't throw it in the ocean there for a while. We couldn't hit our hind end with either hand, um, and, and finally, we broke the lid off of it. You know, Remo hits one, Mike hits one. Um, that that kind of allowed us to breathe a little bit. We still had two really poor defensive plays where I think it was Biglow turned the corner. We didn't have anybody there, and he got to the rim and laid it in. But other than that, uh, I thought defensively we, we really had a good effort. I mean, holding them to 40%, out rebounding them, um, two big keys for us. Coach, what does this do to y'all's confidence moving forward? Uh, great for our confidence. You know, we just had a tough stretch, four in a row on the road. We came away with three of them, uh, you know, and so the, the message in the locker room is our theme last year was humble and hungry. You know, we were having success. We had to stay humble and hungry. We haven't had the success we had a year ago, but we still have to remember how we got into this position, what it takes to win, the little details, the little things, the effort from day to day, the focus. And they know now that we're building. We're not where we need to be, but we're building. So let's just stay grounded and, and, and continue to, to, to stay on page and build this thing. But obviously, it helps our confidence going into the second half that we were, you know, after a poor start in league, we've made a nice little run to get ourselves in, in decent position. Reem, you've never lost here. Uh, what's that? I was going to save that for him, Mez. <laughs> um, it means a lot. I mean, it's something about, uh, something about that dark blue that, that gets me going. Um, so, I mean, it's good to keep it going. I'm glad we got, we needed this win. I mean, more than a rivalry. I mean, I love the rivalry. I mean, I feel like I am from Montana. Like, I saw, I saw crazy. I love this rivalry. But it was big. Like, we needed this win. And it's one step closer to our, our goal. And that's one win. So, next week, I mean, we're going we to be happy about it now. But when we get on the bus to Missoula, we're going to forget about it and get ready for next week. When, when you see your first couple of shots go down like they did tonight, what's that do for you? Um, it does a lot for me, uh, but then my big fella is always telling me make sure I don't, I don't bail him out because then I can hit a couple and then he's still telling me to attack. So, but it definitely feels good. I mean, team's been backing off me, so I got I to shoot with confidence and I got to make sure that I don't fall in love with it. But it definitely, when you see the ball go in a couple times, definitely good confidence. So. What's, what's this guy giving you since he's uh, started playing more? And playing well. Um, yeah, when, uh, when he's playing aggressive, uh, he reminds you of somebody that you, was here. Uh, you know, uh, last year, number five, he, when he played aggressive, but that's his thing. He's just such a nice kid. We got to release him sometimes. When we unleash him, man, you can see what he can do. I mean, he can finish, he can play deep. So, I mean, we're happy. I'm, and, uh, he's, a, he's a humble kid, so I know you're not going to let him get to his head. He's going to come right back and he's going to perform again. Grim, what, uh, what effect do you think the atmosphere had on this thing? About half as many fans as most of the Cactus games they played in. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, the atmosphere is, is cool. I mean, usually there's more people at our house. I mean, I don't know what that's about, but I mean, it, it was more packed than last year. But I mean, there were some people that, that were talking a little bit, but that's always fun. I mean, that's what Cat is all about. So, Mario, what did you think of your first Cat Grizz game? 
Chris Cat. Sorry. Chris Cat. Uh, <laughs> nah, it, it was fun, man. You know, we got out here in a tough environment and we just played hard and just kind of got everything going on the road. We came out in the second half and, you know, started out kind of slow, but when we pulled that one out, it felt great. Starting with the second half in Southern Utah, uh, I know Coach said something to you. I'm not sure what it was, but uh, <laughs> what was the message, I guess? Just play harder. Our guy came out kind of timid. Like Reem said, you know, a couple of guys got to jump me a little bit to get me going, and I don't know why, man. I know I'm going to turn that around, but Coach, he, he got on me a little bit, and I, I just turned it up for him. You were pretty aggressive throughout the entire game. Why were you so efficient? I, don't, I, I just had, I got a couple easy ones going in transition early, and, you know, guys just, uh, they double Reem a lot, and he just got it to me open, and open lanes, uh, open lanes were wide open for me, so I just took them. Reem, you played the one through the four tonight. You were guarding their five. Yeah. Uh, does that does that make it official now? You you now played one through five. Uh, definitely. I mean, especially guard, uh, guarding uh, Iguanu. I mean, he's a half fourth down there. I mean, I was trying to make sure that I was on. I had to be on my toes all game because he's a good dunker and sitter. So I guess you can say that. It's funny we said that in our very first team meeting, yeah. right? Yeah. I said to Kareem, we were talking about roles and, and buying in. And, uh, I said, Kareem, what if I told you you were going to be our starting five man and Big Sky play? He said, Coach, I'll be the best five man in the league for you. And, uh, you know, he's been our leader since that point. And funny, here we are. And he's, he's playing a lot of different positions for us. But 